life as an actor is mentally, emotionally, physically and psychologically challenging. It's an extraordinary industry to reside in and a place like no other and a place of extreme highs and lows and yet so many of us are drawn to it. Now perhaps it's the desire to tell extraordinary stories or work alongside your favourite actors and directors or the creativity or to communicate powerful messages and really have a meaningful impact. Whatever your reason, it's brought you to this video. So, how do you get into professional acting? Now, to explain this, I'm going to first show you a map of how the acting industry actually works and then we'll take it from there. So this is how the acting industry works from an actor's perspective and in its most simplest form. Stage one, this is your entry to the industry, either through drama school or by acquiring enough experience to gain access to stage two. Stage two, so this is your platform and the tools that connect you with casting professionals. This platform includes your acting agent, spotlight and marketing. And with these, you now have access to acting roles. Stage three, you've been submitted for roles and you're being considered for acting jobs. You're now in the game. So there's also a side route here too. So as well as casting directors, directors and producers can also invite you into audition directly too. Stage four, you're invited to audition and are being presented to the director, producer, production company, advertising agency, client, depending on the job and the role. And then stage five, boom, you are selected and confirmed for the role. So once you're through stage one, we are constantly working through stages two to four and back again, and hopefully all being well, landing at stage five often. So how are you gonna get into the acting world? Through either drama school or by gaining experience. You need to have one or the other to gain entry to Spotlight and Equity um, and to really get on board with an agent and to be able to market yourself to the industry. So first up, drama school. A drama school really gives you the opportunity to immerse yourself and test things and practice and see what works for you because we're all a bit different. And on completion of drama school, you are eligible for Student Spotlight and Equity membership and then once that membership comes to an end, you can gain full professional membership as well. Now, there are hundreds of institutions offering hundreds of drama courses. And one of the things that I often get asked is if a degree in drama at a university is the same as going to an actual kind of recognised and accredited drama school. And honestly, it's not, I'm afraid. Um, in the UK, there are currently 20 schools that are rated by the Federation of Drama Schools as the best of the best. And these are the schools that are deemed to have uh, the best training, have the best teachers, have the highest rates of success for students moving into the industry, and their courses offer entry into equity and spotlight upon graduation as well. So spotlight and equity will only accept graduates from certain schools and actually certain courses. Um, and now that should include most of the 20 there, but do, do check because it really is on a course by course basis rather than just the school. Now it's likely that some of you will be sat there now thinking, well I don't really want to go to drama school, it's not right for me or I'm past education and I just want to jump straight in. You can get into the industry without going to drama school. Some of the greatest actors didn't go to drama school. So Heath Ledger, Christian Bale, Jennifer Lawrence, Johnny Depp, Ben Kingsley, Brad Pitt. Yeah. Now there's a bit of a catch-22 here though. Without drama school, you need professional credits to be able to be eligible for Spotlight and Equity and actually before agents are really going to seriously consider you. But how do you get any credits without Spotlight or an agent? There are ways, so you really, really have to get proactive here and you've got to make it happen. 
um, theatre and drama groups are of course a really really good way to start as well as extra work, student films and short films as well. Look for open auditions in the stage and across social media. You can actually sign up to all the casting directors on Twitter and keep an eye on what they're doing. They're always posting casting calls. And look at mandy.com for acting work. It is an incredible resource for casting for newcomers and you can start building a profile on there right now. So take every opportunity you can to perform, to make connections and to get experience in the industry. Anything that gets you experience and has the potential to connect you with directors, producers, casting professionals and even other actors who can share information with you and experiences with you, it's all good. That's where it starts, that's where it leads to other things. You know, there are many short film competitions all over the country. Get in contact, get involved with them. Now, I have a few last tips for you to get you started and get you moving in the right direction. Practice, practice and practice. Find and take every opportunity you can to act, especially in the early stages. So, you know, there might be film competitions, drama clubs, even filming yourself in the bedroom. You need to practice and hone your skills. Entry, so decide what means of entry is right for you. Is it drama school or is it through experience? Start to create a plan and think about all the different things that we've spoken about that you can start doing and start setting those goals. Questions, ask yourself what genres, roles, types of stories that you're interested in. So get really specific and narrow your focus as much as you can so you can practice that and you can adapt your goals according to that as well. And lastly, watch others. Watch actors doing the type of roles that you want to do and study them. Read biographies on the actors that you admire and you know those that are doing similar things that you want to. Watch interviews, watch them perform in TV, film, go and see them in the theatre and keep a journal and take notes about the thoughts that you're having and the things that you're learning. And read up on acting as well. Have a look at the different methods and the different techniques and get ahead. Even if you're testing these out in your bedroom or with your friends, you know, see what do you like? What's working for you? Start to test things and see what's working for you. And from this, you can start building a process as well. If you want to learn more about professional acting, we have an online foundation academy that covers every area in depth, including marketing, drama school, acting agents, casting directors, auditions, and much, much more. Click on the link below for more information.